Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now I'm back with another bullet journal. And it's actually June 1st. We are on June 1st and I'm posting a bullet journal. Okay, if you've never heard of, of a bullet journal before, basically it's like planning out the month of and just kind of getting a good idea of what you're looking at for the month. I mean, it's just a good way to keep your planner skills going and it's a creative way too. I got this bullet journal from Barnes and Nobles. A lot of you always ask me and I like doing bullet journals because you can get artistic with it and you can kind of look at your month, take a look at it and kind of organize around it and see where the trips you're planning, what events are going on and what you need to focus on for the month. The theme I picked for the month of June happens to be all my favorite things of summer and beach. Um, so I mainly wanted to focus on the beach because the first day of summer is June 22nd, I believe. So I went and did all the beach themes and my favorite things about the beach, like sitting in the shade under an umbrella, wearing sunglasses, always wear sunscreen, tanning. <laughs> Don't ever go outside without sunscreen because then you get really peely skin and it hurts. <laughs> So what I did is I kept it nice and bright and I started adding like little circles around like bubbles, colorful bubbles because sun, the sunshine in summer, this just reminds me of like I'm no longer in school anymore but anybody who's in high school or in college or middle school or elementary school then you're probably thinking the same thing everybody else is thinking. Freedom is in June. <laughs> so free, there's, you get to be free in June. Uh, school is over and then you don't go back until September I believe I don't know but anyways so um I am planning a beach trip in June and I thought that since I haven't been to the beach in a really long time I thought this would be a really good idea to go ahead and make like a beach theme just because it's my return to the shores of the wonderful Atlantic Ocean. I was thinking about going to Myrtle Beach this coming week just as a getaway because even during summer you're going to see me uh, starting to plan it. I actually wanted to do a cover page and switch it up just a little bit because I was watching another bullet journal planner artist and she actually put a cover page and then she did her spread on both pages and I thought that's actually a good idea because I need a wider look at my calendar because I have so much going on this summer and so I need a bigger calendar just to kind of see where my summer camp days are going to be. Now I, so I went ahead and I started laying that out because I would like to see when I'm having camps if it's every other week or if it's back to back weeks and once it hits in July my summer camps my art summer camps are going to go back to back back to back so it's going to be really intense but and then I went ahead and I wrote down my important dates down below the only bad thing about laying it out this way was I was struggling to find stuff to put because I kind of did my cover page and I included all my favorite things about the beach in the summer and then and I was just like, I don't want to crowd or put too much around everything on my pages, on my spreads, because I don't know. I just, <laughs> I like it to be nice and clean just in case I need to write any more objects down. I mean, not objects, like just like bullet points or anything or any important dates I need to write down for the future if I need to come back to this. And I actually really did mess up because when I started writing out my a list of important dates and my goals, I got angry because there's the uh, Squalor Box sent me one of these, a couple of these gel pens, and I thought, oh, these are these will be really pretty with my my beachy spread because I look like the ocean and they're sparkly blue, and I thought this would be a great idea. Turns out that they smudge really well on this type of paper that's in my bullet journal, and you see right here, and you see. Let's wait, 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 wait to see if it goes ahead and it smears. I think one just smeared on the Kingsport race. Yep, on camp, look at camp. But then again, I have to be more careful of dragging my hand across really, really wet ink. <laughs> I'll make sure not to do those kind of gel pens in this book ever again. Maybe more absorbent ink, but not in these. So I kept my color schemes bright like the sun. And I just think when I think of summer and I think of the beach, I think of bright colors. I mean, you never go outside and you see like, uh, you know, all the beach bags are themed in bright colors or you've got flamingos all over them. So I tried to keep my color scheme bright and cheery just because of the sun and what the beach entails and what June promises, just what the summer promises. Um, 
So, I'd love to know in the comments down below, tell me like one or two things that you're doing during the summer. Maybe you're just, maybe you got like one beach trip planned or maybe you're just working the whole summer trying to earn a little bit of extra money before you go back into school. I mean, that's basically what I'm gonna be doing too. <laughs> uh, you can see that I wrote down that I actually have a job interview since I am leaving my current teaching job after the summer camp. So I have to, I got a couple of job, jobs that I'm looking at, but at the same time I got one interview so far, so I thought well if I get this job, this is probably a good idea, and this job is also an art teaching uh, position, but I don't know, it's just up to the um it's just up to God, really. <laughs> he calls the shots and what's going on and everything with what happens in my life. And that's just, this uh, This summer it will be interesting just because it is a big transition from this job into something else where, wherever I do end up. And once again, I'll always say I wish YouTube was my only job, but you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. But yes, yeah, so I went ahead and I kept writing. Oh, I'm a, I actually have had the Kayla Itzheim's fitness program for a while now, and I think I'm going to finally try it this summer because my summer's not too crazy, but at the same time, it's going to give me a lot of time at home just having to be home for the summer camps that I'm teaching. And here we go, my YouTube tracker. It grew a little bit, but you know, I'm just, okay, I'm just trying to keep healthy this summer and to do well with my YouTube and to just keep making awesome videos. I was thinking about doing the sketchbooks challenge this uh, month and ending in J uh, July. That's the sketchbook slam challenge. I don't know, we'll have to see how that goes. But yeah, guys, I'm really happy you stopped by to watch my little bullet journal video. If you haven't made a bullet journal yet, I really highly suggest it. You can get bullet journals from Michael's right now or Barnes and Nobles. They're awesome looking bullet journals. I was looking at them yesterday. But go and check those out if you're wanting to go ahead and just start for the month of July or go ahead and do, do the month of June. But yes, guys, I hope you have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. Happy June.